Hey everyone, today you're going to learn how to add integers. We're going to use concrete objects and number lines to do that. Easy math with Miss Easy. Easy math with Miss Easy. Easy math with Miss Easy. Alright, so first of all, an integer is just a whole number can be positive or negative and there's no decimal parts. If you need a little more information about that before you dig into this video, I'll link my video, my first sixth grade video that's all about rational numbers and integers. Okay, so I thought an easy way to start this lesson would be actually a science topic. So atoms have protons that are positively charged and electrons that are negatively charged. Okay, so here's our first example. We have three protons and three electrons. So a really easy way to kind of think about this and wrap our brain around it is to match them up. So if we have a positive one and a negative one, that just equals zero. So let's line these up so that they are ma making matches. Okay, so what do you think about negative 3 plus positive 3 then? Okay, you got it. We're at 0 because all of these have a match, so they cancel each other out and we're just at 0. Okay, here's our next example. We have 4 protons and 3 electrons. So let's make our matches. And this would be a really good thing to do at home too if you have some sort of thing that you can show two different colors on or even making little plus one cards and minus one cards. This would be a really good thing to practice. Okay, it looks like I've got some matches but I've got a proton that doesn't have a match. So what do you think is the total when I have this four plus a negative three. Okay, you got it. I just have that one positive proton, so my answer is one. Okay, now let's do one, an atom that has two protons and four electrons. Why don't you think about how to match those up and what we would have that doesn't have a match. Okay, awesome. We made two matches and we had two electrons that don't have a match. So what do you think is the answer? Okay, you got it. Negative two. Okay, so now we're going to move over to a whiteboard number line. And we're going to do some real life examples of positive and negative integers. All right, so let's dig into the first problem. It says one week Avery put $7 of her allowance in an account. The next week she withdrew $5. Okay, so let's start with the number line. So it says she put $7 of her allowance in her account. So we're up here at $7. Okay, and then she withdrew five. So what is happening there? Yeah, she's taking away five. So let's go this way on the number line and count it out. One, two, three, four, five. And I know that seems like a really simple problem and it, it really is, but it's gonna help us learn some things about negative numbers and positive numbers. And so a number line just makes it really easy for us to understand. Okay, so how much money does she have in her account now? Yeah, she has $2 in her account. And we can write that as an addition problem by saying this. So she, she had $7 plus negative 5. And what do we end up with? You're right, 2. Okay, so our next problem is Elijah checked the temperature of a container of ice water and noticed it was zero degrees Celsius. He let it sit in room temperature and it rose to seven degrees Celsius. Then he added the uh, more ice and it dropped nine degrees. Okay, so let's check this one out. So 
he first looked at the temperature and it was zero. I'm gonna put my dot there. Then it rose to seven degrees. So I'm going to just make a big jump to seven. Okay, and then it he added some ice and it dropped nine degrees. So what is that gonna look like on the number line? Okay, you got it, we're gonna go this way, nine degrees. So I'm gonna use a different color and just do small jumps here, okay? So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps. So the temperature dropping nine degrees, we landed here at negative two. So that is the temperature of the water. So if we wanted to write that out as a addition problem, we could say that that seven degrees plus a negative nine, what does that equal? You got it, negative two. Great job. All right, now we're gonna try this first problem and then I'm gonna let you do the rest on your own. So if we have a negative two plus five, that means we wanna start on the number line at negative two. Okay, and then I am going to hop, you guessed it, five jumps going this way on the number line, bigger on the number line. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, where am I at? What's my answer? You got it, three. Okay, now try the rest of those, and then we'll come back and check your work. All right, great job today learning about adding integers. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.